In this video I'm just going to show you that you can use the shape blur and the shape blur is just here shape blur and use it across channels so you can actually use it to create a really quite nice sort of colorful weird blurry effect but with color in it so just gonna just use this cat design the cat design is from andrewshapes.com my site and just gonna go now to the red channel that's the key thing have the key ch channels there select the red go to filter filter blur and shape blur so once you've actually done that now you can select any of these cat shapes obviously if you've got the cat shape set it's like say andrewshapes.com or you can, of course create your own custom shape designs which you can apply maybe like thin ring designs circular designs whatever anyway there's one of the custom shapes. Now you can actually use different custom shapes with each of the channels. So I'm just going to use the red. I'm going to use also use. Now I always find it actually works better with a low setting. If you actually go too far, actually just goes. You virtually can't see anything. Just blurs the thing completely out. So I'm just going to go with that. That'll take a few seconds. Just quickly process that, and now go to the green channel. And that's one reason why not to set it too high because it actually does take a bit of time just to process it and you can see the text is now completely vanished it's that green channel we also blur shape blur I'm going to select a different uh, design now and reduce that down a little bit don't want it so high and I'm going to select that one click OK And now the blue channel. And I'll apply that one. Okay. Click OK. And then once you've actually done that, then you obviously can just go back to the RGB channel and see the end result. Now it would be nice actually if you could actually see it slightly better. You can actually just see it over here actually. It just displays it there. So I'm just going to go there. There you have it. You've got a nice colourful sort of design using the shape blur on a cat. But of course you could use it with any other design as well. I hope you found this of interest.